Welcome back to Benchworks Garage. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the projects we got going on as we continue to move through these cars uh, from the collection we bought out of a barn find. But first, I'll show you some other stuff that I haven't posted much pictures of. We have got a ton of classic and aftermarket wheels that we're slowly working through, as well as trim work, hubcaps, all of this stuff we're going to be holding on to until we've uncovered all of the cars and everything um, to make sure that we don't sell anything off before we have all the puzzles put together. Over here is the Cadillac that I had posted some pictures of. Kyle is working on pulling the axles out of that car because we've got something bound up in the rear diff. Um, and this has a uh, third member, kind of like a Ford 9 inch, uh, that comes out from the front. So he's gonna pull those axles out and we'll take a look and see what's going on in the diff in there. The Camaro, nothing has changed on yet. Um, I did bring some other wheels back here. I believe I've located the glass and I have a gentleman coming to look at that on Saturday. So far, that is the only thing that I have listed for sale. Next up, the Newport. I pulled the carburetor on this so my dad can get that rebuilt. Um, we have started working on the interior. This had a, a good bit of mildew in the interior because this was stored in a barn that was um, like stone and concrete instead of wood so it held some moisture but that is cleaning up fairly well we just got to now remove the seats and then remove the carpet that way we can steam extract it but as you can see the door panels cleaned up really nice and up on the dash you can see the side that's been done and the side that has not been done um, but this car is all here and all complete so we're pretty excited to uh, hopefully get this running and moving under its own power um, relatively quickly. The GTX, um, we got the starter in for. We're going to be pulling the carburetor so we can go through that. I've got a battery on order and then this car uh, needs to have a, a little bit of paint touch-up work done over at American Muscle where the Savoy just came back from today and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. One of the things that needs to be done is on the hood here in between these two trim pieces on each side, this actually needs to be black. So that needs to be corrected along with a few other things that we just need to touch up on. The GTO is kind of in a holding pattern for the moment. Uh, we're not sure exactly what route we're gonna go with that yet. Um, the paintwork on this is pretty crummy. The interior work came out really nice, but whoever painted it put a little mud down here in front of the rear wheel arch um, and they didn't even primer it before they painted it. Not to mention the paint is not very nice on it anyways. So we might end up just stripping this whole car and uh, have an American Muscle repaint that as well. I think it's going to be worth it if we do go that route because like I said, the, the top is, is brand new and the interior was all just done in this car as well. In addition to that, it has a supposed fresh engine in it. So you know, it's, it's probably worth uh, putting the effort into before selling. Now on to some stuff back here. First up, the Savoy, the Max Wedge car. Just came back from American Muscle and they did a fantastic job touching up a couple of stone chips on the, uh, the rocker panel, um, a little nick on the, on the hood from people not closing it straight. But this car came out really nice. We still got to do some polishing, uh, the front brake conversion kit, and then we have some licensed reproduction bumpers since the other bumpers were pretty well pitted. But once that's done, the carburetor's rebuilt, and this car is going to be ready to go and, and a really, really nice car for somebody. I'm not sure how much of this car shown in other videos but I mean it's it's all here the car is in really really nice clean condition so we're super excited about getting this back together now this is a car that we moved a couple of days ago this is a 34 Plymouth business 6 coupe However, we have reason to believe, based upon the serial number and the hood, that it's actually a mid-year um, because the hood, we think, is actually from a 35. 
but we're told that this car was all original and actually in pretty nice condition when the previous owner purchased it. So we got to do a little more research on that car. Not sure yet what we're going to do with this. I believe we're going to do a little cleaning, get the dust off of it, and, uh, and probably sell this as is. Unfortunately, somebody along the way has swapped a um, four-cylinder Willys engine into it, probably back in the 50s and just out of necessity um, because the other engine you know, was no good and they just had it lying around. Uh, but still a very valuable and sought after car both for restoration and uh and hot rods so last up and what my dad's taking a look at right now running some numbers is this 68 roadrunner this is a car uh, that we had been missing and located at a uh, paint and body shop about 15 minutes away from one of um, the properties owned by the previous owner of all of these cars and the paint's done, but it's otherwise completely disassembled and bare. Now, we know we have uh, glass at multiple properties for these cars. There is, of course, the GTX, this Roadrunner, and I believe we have titles for two other 68 Roadrunners. And then we also located a 70 Roadrunner that we were previously missing. So between uh, all of those, I'm sure we've got enough parts to put this back together as well. So that is the update for today. I really appreciate all of you guys tuning in. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, having all of you guys comment on uh, the adventures that I'm going through with my dad and these cars, uh, it's, it's really helped give me some ambition to continue working on getting this stuff done. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys.